back with a different video in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do your own maintenance and service job for your laptop in this case is an Acer Aspire 5 the exact model is an A550 this one comes with an i 5 8 gen and it does have a it doesn't have any GPU installed so it has a built in the CPU APU so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open it and we're gonna repaste to put a different thermal paste or do a better job than what they did in the manufacturer. So first thing first, you wanna flip it over, remove all the screws at the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size, so don't worry about mismatching them. So that's a good positive thing. So don't worry about mismatching all the screws. Remove all the screws at the bottom cover. They're all exposed, so there's no hidden screws or anything like that. Grab your eye kit tool. And in this tool, you're gonna use a, just a simple opening tool right here. I really recommend you guys to grab this tool. It comes with everything that you need, all the bits, and all the opening tools, and even the grounding cable, everything comes with it. It's really handy to have it in the house. So, in this time right now, we're gonna use the opening tool right here. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna open the laptop in 45 degree angle. And we're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna shove it between the top and the bottom cover. And we're gonna wiggle it around just like that. And we're gonna move. You're not gonna stick all the way in, just uh, just a tip, if you know what I mean. And you're gonna do the side. Go all the way down. I already closed it. So do the other side. There we go. I got the front side and the sides open. We're gonna just lift up a little bit and we're gonna wiggle it around. And it should just let go of the back end. There we go. Now down here. What are we gonna do right now, first thing first? We're gonna just remove the battery. Let's call it unhooking it. So we're gonna unhook the battery just by removing this jack right here. So use your fingernails, just pull this jack all the way back. And make sure it's disconnected right there. All right, the CPU is right here and the heatsink goes all the way here. The heatsink is not connected on this end to anything. So pretty much we're gonna remove four screws. One, two, three, four. Now that we remove the screws, we're gonna just lift up the heat sink. Just like that. Oh. Again, the same issue we're having with the most of the Acer and some Lenovo's and if you guys can pay attention or pull the video back a little bit if you want and if you guys notice this one right here is a manufacturing defect or I'm guessing it's a defect probably it must be so let me zoom in on this one as you can see the second die on the CPU is right over here. It's not even touching the heat pipe or it's not even touching the plate right there. So what happened right here? They designed the heat sink for this CPU, but they thought that the CPU, this die is gonna be on the other side, it's gonna be flipped. So the CPU should have been flipped, but it's flipped in the opposite side, which locates the second die on this empty space. So if we remove the heat sink, and slowly and we're just gonna flip it over on the other side now you can see the issue right here this die is hitting right here it's not even touching the heat pipe and if they should if they had flipped this cpu 180 degrees to other side this die would have been right there and it would have hit right where they had the thermal paste even applied to touch the, the second die. So either they messed up the heatsink design 
or the manufacturing actually they flipped over the 180 degrees they did on this model this is a very common issue uh, with this laptops and even with some Lenovo's I have some other videos I made if I can find the clips I'll mention them in the description it's really really bad and sad how they did it and they don't do any recall recall or anything on this laptops there's not much we can do here we can just add a thermal pad here to try to help it so it can actually touch the, ter uh, the heat sink but thermal pad is not the same thing as a thermal paste with a pressure so it's definitely gonna help but not that much pretty much don't buy this one or just return it buy the one that actually covers it or just you need a major modification put a copper shim right here on top that covers both of them it's uh i will do that to a personal computer but it isn't for a client of me mine so we're not gonna do any modification on this one so yeah as you can see this is the problem with this one now if you want to fix the problem grab yourself a thermal pads just like this one and place it right on top of this die this is about three millimeters uh, yeah three to four millimeter thermal pad should do the job so once you have the thermal pad right there before you put it clean up the thermal paste right there there we go now it's cleaned so we're gonna grab our thermal paste and we're gonna apply a drop right there and on this one we're gonna put a thermal pad right there measure the heatsink the heatsink this flap right here this plastic has to go underneath the fan not on top of the fan so otherwise it's gonna block the air and just put it in and don't lift it up next you want to just put the screws for it and you can see right now that the thermal pad is exposed right there So this is pretty much very really sad. Next, what you want to do, you want to grab the connected battery, just put the jack back in there, and push it evenly all the way in. And the last thing is to grab the bottom cover, put the heat sink side down first, and just push it down. Push the back side the sides and the front end and the last thing is to grab the bottom screws and screw them in the place and that should be all I hope you guys like this video if you guys liked it click that thumbs up button and if you have any comments leave them in the comment area at the bottom of the video and if you guys subscribe it really helps out thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video